These are the hedgerows of Normandy. Many have been here since the Middle Ages, separating one farmer's field from another. But after D-Day, these same hedgerows probably did more to slow the Allies' breakout from Normandy than any other obstacle. With the Germans using the mounds as fortifications, the breakout that was scheduled to take a few days took two months. One of the worst problems was with the U.S. tanks. As they came up over the top of the hedgerows, their soft underbellies were exposed to enemy fire. A method was needed to drive through the hedgerows instead of over them. Sergeant Curtis G. Cullen, Jr. had the answer. He welded some of the Germans' beach obstacles onto the front of his tank. And then, where the tank hit the hedgerows, the metal forks cut right through the mound. Many of the tanks were modified and dubbed rhinos. And with this bit of Yankee ingenuity, the GIs cut a path right into the center of France. Conquering the hedgerows of Normandy, an event that helped shape the outcome of World War II. Get smarter every day. Click the subscribe button and don't miss a single new minute of Flame Bubble.